In most people think of paper, they think weak or flimsy. Well, today, we're going to show you a simple experiment that shows the actual strength of paper. For this experiment, you'll need a ruler, scissors, pencil, some tape, and of course paper. We're using six pieces, but you can use as many as you'd like. First, you want to get your piece of paper, your ruler, and your pencil. Now put your ruler on the very edge of the piece of paper, on the short side. Line it up, make it straight, get your pencil, and make a line. And you're just going to want to repeat this until you can't go anymore. When you're finished drawing, your paper should look something like this. Should it have eight big strips and one strip that's just a little smaller. Now you want to grab your scissors and start cutting on across the lines. Alright, so you've got your eight big pieces of paper and one's a little small. What you want to do is grab one of the strips, pinch it with your thumb and pointer finger, and just wrap it around the tip of your finger. Should look about like that. And then have somebody help you tape it. So it makes a little cylinder. So you want to make six of these. You want to put them in this kind of pattern, kind of like a flower. And you want to grab your small strip of paper and wrap it, well, actually, you want to get your tape, and you want to put it on the end of your small strip, and leave some of the tape sticking out. You want to wrap it around your column, here. try to get it as tight as you can, and just tape it. And then you're done with one column. Now we're making eight of these, but you can make as many or as less as you'd like. Okay, so once you're finished with everything and you've taped and cut, you should have six columns like this with little wraps around them. And the wraps are the little extra small pieces of paper you had. And you should have 12 just regular cylinders. You can put them in cylinder shapes or just spread them out freely where you want. And you're also going to need a board. This one's a little big, but you could even use a textbook. But this is what we're going to use. And next, you'll need a hard, flat surface. You want to grab your cylinders and place them on the floor. And you want to spread them out evenly with your board. We're going to put I'm go ahead and put it like this. And now you're going to want to make sure it lines up and place the board on top. Make sure it's pretty sturdy. Now. <clears throat> now, you'll be surprised how much this can hold. Joseph here weighs about 130 pounds, and that's the actual strength of paper.